الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Certainly all praises belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator, sustainer and regulator of the universe and all within and we invoke his peace and blessings upon his noble messenger his family, his companions and all those who follow them in righteousness until the end of time and may Allah the exalted cause us to be among them Amen. dear brothers and sisters in Islam assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh today insha'Allah we complete our discussion of Surah Al-Hujurat and the various important concepts that Allah teaches us in this Surah and the last uh, concept that Allah teaches us is that all the things we accomplish in life are a result of His grace and His mercy and His blessings. Despite the fact that we might, of course, put out a lot of effort and time and planning and, and energies, despite all of this, we never achieve what we achieve entirely on our own, but we do so with also with the blessings and the grace and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah says, يَمُنُّونَ عَلَيْكَ أَنْ أَسْلَمُوا They mention it as a favor to you that they have, believed, that they have uh, embraced Islam. Allah says, قُلْ لَا تَمُنُّوا عَلَيَّ إِسْلَامَكُمْ don't mention that as a favor to me that you have embraced Islam. Allah says, however, Allah is the one who mentions it as a favor to you that He guided you to faith. So as Muslims, we must understand that on the one hand, we have to put out effort. We have to work hard at achieving whatever we set out to achieve. But we also must realize and be conscious of the fact that despite our you know, cunningness and our smartness and our brilliance and brilliant planning and all these human efforts, we must never forget that we only achieve what we achieve through the blessings and the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, when we take guidance, for example, obviously a person makes a choice as to whether they embrace the guidance or not. So how can one say that, you know, it's a blessing of Allah that a person is guided? They chose it, man. Well, even though they make the choice, brothers and sisters, it is still a blessing of Allah because how did the person learn about the guidance in the first place? From where? If Allah never sent revelations and never sent prophets and messengers, where would human beings ever learn what is guidance and what is not? So the person might have made the, the choice, yes, to embrace guidance. But it's the sending of the revelation and the prophets to explain the revelations this is where the blessing of Allah is because without that, you will never make that choice to, to embrace guidance. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ, whenever, whenever he saw something that is pleasing to him, and it doesn't have to be, or it didn't have to be something that happened to him personally, it could be something pleasant that happened to somebody else. The Prophet ﷺ was that type of person who was genuinely happy, not because he had good happening to him, but he was also genuinely happy when good happened to anyone else. So whenever he saw something pleasing, whether it happened to him directly or to someone else, he would say, Alhamdulillahi alladhi bi ni'matihi tatimmu salihat. Praise be to Allah, with whose blessings all good things are accomplished. Praise be to Allah with whose blessings and through whose blessings all good things are accomplished. 
And here the Prophet ﷺ teaches us this concept that we cannot achieve except with two things. One, our own hard effort and work. And two, the blessings and the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why the human being should never become proud of their achievements, of their skills, of their uh, smartness or brilliance. Because at the end of the day, in as much as we have put in hard work to, to reach that level, we never do it entirely on our own. You know, Qarun, as Allah mentions in the Quran, had a tremendous amount of wealth. And when his people reminded him not to be proud, you know, recognize that this is a blessing from Allah the Creator. He said to his people, Qala innama utituhu ala ilmin indi. He said, surely, I attained all of this because of the knowledge that I have, man. My planning, my cunningness, my smartness, my brilliance. You know, the right moves at the right time. I was able to acquire all of this. Implying, you know, that Allah never blessed him. As a result of this kind of pride and arrogance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused the earth to open up and swallow him and his wealth. So we should not become like Qarun, where we believe our skills and our abilities and our achievements are entirely our own doing. But we should remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us and without his blessings we cannot attain and achieve the success that we have achieved. So this is the uh, other important concept that Allah teaches us in the surah when he tells uh, the people who were uh, talking with the Prophet salam, the Arabs who had embraced Islam at that time and they were you know mentioning it as a favor as if they did something good for the Prophet salam, look we have embraced Islam and Allah told him no don't do that don't mention it as a favor rather it is Allah who has done you a favor by guiding you, by providing the guidance for you. In kuntum sadiqin. If you are indeed truthful, you will recognize this. If you are indeed truthful, you will recognize that in as much as you make the choice and you do the work, you also only achieve things through the blessings and the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us. May He open our hearts and minds so that not only can we understand the message, but that we would be motivated to live by the message. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts and minds so we can always recognize His blessings and His grace upon us despite uh, what we might achieve. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cause us to uh, continuously be humble of the things that we have achieved. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from going astray. May He protect us from the evil inclinations of ourselves and the evil of our actions and may he protect us from uh, giving in to the temptations and the whisperings of shaitan aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh